name is Kathy, and today I'll be teaching the Irish song St. Patrick's Day from the 50 Irish Melodies for All Harps book by Sylvia Woods. But before I do, I wanted to let you know that I have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I've decided to create several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. St. Patrick's Day, or the Feast of St. Patrick, is a cultural and religious celebration held on the 17th of March, the traditional death date of St. Patrick. 385 AD to 461 AD, the foremost patron saint, saint of Ireland. St. Patrick's Day was made an official Christian feast day in the early 17th century and is observed by the Catholic Church, the Anglican Communion, especially the Church of Ireland, the Eastern Orthodox Church, and the Lutheran Church. The day commemorates St. Patrick and the arrival of Christianity in Ireland and celebrates the heritage and culture of the Irish in general. Celebrations generally involve public parades and festivals, wearing of green attire or shamrocks. Christians who belong to liturg liturgical denominations also attend church services. And historically, the Lenten restrictions on eating and drinking alcohol were lifted for the day, which is encouraged and propagated the holiday's tradition of alcohol consumption. St. Patrick's Day is a public holiday in the Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, the Canadian province of Newfoundland and Labrador uh, for provincial government employees, and the British Overseas Territory of Montserrat. It is also widely celebrated by the Irish diaspora around the world, especially in the United Kingdom, Canada, United States, Brazil, Argentina, Australia, and New Zealand. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated in more countries than any other national festival. Modern celebrations have been greatly influenced by those of the Irish diaspora, particularly those that developed in North America. In recent years, there has been criticism of St. Patrick's Day celebrations for having become too commercialized and for fostering negative stereotypes of the Irish people. Now I'll teach the easy version first and then the advanced version. Then I'll play the easy version with all of the elements discussed and then the advanced version. When performing this piece of music as a solo in public, it's nice to play the easy version then immediately play the advanced version for a wonderful full toned effect and I'll demonstrate this as well. Hello! When learning this piece of music, clap and count out the right hand and the left hand, and then learn it hands separately and put it hands together. St. Patrick's Day is written in the key of G major, so remember to engage all the F-sharping levers before you begin. Now, all music tells a story, and I'm not talking about the words of the song, rather I'm speaking about the music itself. In St. Patrick's Day, the melody is in the right hand and the accompaniment is in the left hand, so make sure that the right hand melody is louder overall than the left hand. In all music, there's a beginning, an ending, and a climax point, and we'll discuss each of these elements now. In music, it's a general rule of thumb that when the notes of the melody, in this case the right hand notes, rise in pitch from lower notes to higher notes, the volume will increase. And when the melody notes fall in pitch, the volume will decrease. In general, the left hand of most songs will be the spot where the beat of the song manifests most strongly. In general, the first note of each bar of music in the left hand is slightly emphasized to give a good strong beat. And the lower notes are also emphasized slightly. And what this does is it causes the playing of piece of music to have greater depth and contrast. At the conclusion of the piece will be a slight retardando or a slight uh, slowing down of the tempo so that the listener can hear that the song is about to end. And this is the melody of St. Patrick's Day.
is the easy version of St. Patrick's Day. Excellent. In the advanced version of St. Patrick's Day, more notes have been added to the left hand to give a fuller sound to the piece of music. At the conclusion of the piece will be a slight retardando, or a slight slowing down of the tempo so that the listener can hear that the song is about to end. In the advanced version of St. Patrick's Day, there are a few broken three-note chords in the left hand on, on the last part of the third line of music, and I just wanted to demonstrate how those come in. Now, the right hand comes in with the lower note of that three-note chord. I'll do it again so you can hear it. I'll do it a little bit faster. Hear it? Great. And this is the advanced version of St. Patrick's Day. the solo performance version of St. Patrick's Day, starting first with the easy harp arrangement immediately followed by the advanced harp arrangement. Excellent. I have
have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easy to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.